Hello, this is Rabbi Avram Wagshul, and I'm going to take you on a quick tutorial through the Talmud Trainer, a workbook that I have designed to teach Talmud skills in the classroom. Um, very briefly, I made a longer video if you want to watch um, in, de in detail. I want to try to keep this video to, to two and three minutes. So here's some basic tools, icons that you find throughout the book. Here's a page explaining the different um, features of the book. Um, basically, skills are taught, examples are given, students get to practice it in the text. Um, helpful information bar features are, are on the side of each sugya. Background is given, keywords, concepts, challenge, translation um, are used. And the first page of Aquinas, the first mission of Aquinas, um, for example, a skill is taught to divide up a Mishnah, students right away practice it in the text. Another important feature is keywords. On the side of the page, information bar, students are introduced to keywords, and right away they're asked to practice in the Gemara finding those keywords and notating on the side what is going on in that particular sugya. Throughout the book, there are helpful review questions, vocabulary, charts, um, written questions. Important skills like finding a quotation um, from, the, from a source, either from a Mishnah, from a Pasuk, using words like Shenemar, Dechsiv, Tnan, Tanya, um, and students are taught to look up the source to determine where the, where the quote begins or ends. And then they're asked to practice, um, and some in the beginning of the year I tell them how many um, words to find, so they get to practice right after they learn the skill. Some more review questions. Here we have um, here we have a skill of looking up Moseres Hashas, looking up um, another places Gemara is mentioned. As the year progresses, the idea is that students are already placing punctuation based on keywords that they've learned in the past. WBR, what's bothering Rashi? The Brahmaschal is written, possible question, and after it's learned, the answer. Some more questions. Notice that as the year progresses, we are already asked to underline the keywords, note their function, place punctuation marks, and this is pretty much the idea. By the end of the year, students are making what we call a lane and figuring out um, the Gemara on their own. We'll just quickly go through another couple of pages here. Here students are just already told to punctuate and answer the review questions. I also include Taisvis in this. Um, it may be used for more advanced students, but for the beginning students, it doesn't have to be used yet. Some more review questions. And to conclude, if you're interested in knowing more about this, please email me at rabbiwagshul at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening.